I saw it's supposed to be my Wednesday vlog. I'll try to post it today. Been home all day, didn't go out. It's been raining even though it was a beautiful day. So, um, yep, I'm going to um, talk to you about uh, some of the memoirs of Italy that I promised, but um, in the meantime, I'm uh, busy with uh, doing something with Italy and um, yeah, I, I, I have to solve a problem. Anyway, I'll talk later. So the memoirs that come some to mind now is first uh, when uh, my husband took me to Rome and we went to this Via Condotti. Via Condotti is equivalent to Radio Drive of Beverly Hills or the um, uh, Newborn Street of London or um, Via Monte Napoleone, Milan. Uh, and it was my first time to Rome, so I didn't even know the difference. <laughs> but anyway, that street is right in front of the Spanish Steps. And uh, uh, we went inside this boutique. So while well, I forgot already the name because I was new, so I didn't pay attention because mind you, I'm not a brand uh, uh, minded person. I, I'm not a brand minded person. Yet my, my ex-husband and my husband uh, gave me uh, some of the brand names, but I, I, I don't know. You know, I'm, I just like my own thing. It's not like I, I follow people. So anyhow, so when we were inside the boutique, I was trying on all, all these outfits and suddenly there was a guy uh, started to take photos of me. And then he came to me speaking broken Italian. He said, this is for Spanish. Uh, I'm a Spanish photographer. And if you don't mind, I'd like to take photos of you. So me without asking, okay, could you give me your name or your name card, you know, and could you give, send me the photos? I didn't because I was totally new in Rome. My husband was sitting there watching me, you know, like that film, Pretty Woman, right? That comes to mind another anecdote. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, while he was watching me, this guy uh, approached me and said, uh, uh, you know, I would like to take a few pictures of you while you're trying the dress on. So you just go on, you don't need to pose. Okay, so that was it. That was one anecdote. Uh, another anecdote is uh, I was walking the street in Milan and then it was in autumn and then it, uh, the woman uh, 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 quite... Um, an elegant uh, woman uh, stopped me in the street and said, uh, actually, I should take this off. Okay, let me just, it's, it's better. This woman stopped me in the street and said, wow, the combination of your, of your outfit is very nice. She said, I love the way you combine your jacket, your long skirt, and your sweater and your shoes and your bag. So that was very nice. But then admittedly, I was there already like, two years or three years in Milan when this woman stopped, stopped me. Okay, another anecdote which was absolutely, totally new uh, in Milan, that was when I just arrived because, you know, my husband came to pick me up here and then uh, together we went to Milan. But it was already the, uh, uh, May, like the 5th of May, my arrival there. So slowly the, the spring is, you know, is, uh, um, is uh, getting less and less cold. However, it was still wet and uh, humid, cold humid. So my husband, my boyfriend then, of course, uh, decided to buy the right clothes for me because I came wearing summer outfits i came with summer outfits little did i know that in milan they have different outfits for every season if my husband maybe had been an english man or an american man or even german man and you know he brings me to his country 
maybe they wouldn't you know give importance but my husband is it italian you know from milan so he really made sure that my clothes were the right clothes to wear in that season so anyway so he, apparently he asked his sister so his sister um recommended us to meet her at this very nice boutique near her office so we went there at uh, after office time it was raining it was wet it was still spring of course let's say we went there around 8th of may and that was it and uh, you know they were sit uh, 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 my sister-in-law didn't come sorry my sister-in-law in come my, my sister-in-law just uh, referred him to go to this particular boutique so my husband was sitting there and then again watch me uh, putting on clothes but uh, you know you must understand that I wasn't in the knowledge of these different seasons outfits you know the materials the color combinations the shape etc so the boutique owner which was gay and his partner they own this uh, boutique they were having a party over me because they just pulled every outfit to uh, for me to wear and hat and jacket and pants and elegant clothes because you know they 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 are very very elegant minded people so don't forget i was nice and slim as well so everything looks so good on me because i was slim so that that was it so my husband bought all that for 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 my outfit to start living in italy with this uh, uh spring clothes so that was the third anecdote so that's my vlog for this wednesday okay um rather than nothing i better post this vlog for you all today okay i'll talk to you on friday because i'm still waiting for a call uh, and uh, uh, but i make sure that i better post this video all right okay bye till friday arrivederci